Okay, so we have some fish cake wraps around vegetable, um, baby corn, some okra, I think, and long bean, and then we got some river snail. This is such a Cambodian dish. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my day number two in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Today, the plan is to go to a countryside. I think the place that we are going to go today is called um, Gien Suai. It's kind of like a countryside area where all the locals, farmers, they come together and sell their stuff. And then there's some um, water huts as well. So we're going to enjoy that. Um, the idea is just to go there and buy some organic stuff. Like, you know, I don't even know what my aunties plan to buy from my mom. Because they were talking on the phone like, a while back. I have never been there. I think since I left Cambodia the first time, like 12 years ago. So this is going to be a big change for me. Uh, I've seen pictures of it, but yeah, I kind of went to experience it in real life and be going to have lunch over there. So let's go together. So we have come to Kien Swai. I'm not sure what, what to classify. This is like a community resort if that makes sense all the locals they come together and build this water hut right and then they commercialize the lands and the, the waterfront and then they sell it up front as well so we have just bought a bunch of fruits and, and food like chicken some pickles as well and some rice and then we're going to enjoy our lunch but first i want to share with you the um you know the the, the the items that we just bought, we bought a lot of stuff. Some of it for ourselves and some of it is for my mom that I will bring back to Australia. Okay, so we have some fish cake wraps around vegetable, um, baby corn, some okra, I think, and long bean. And then we got some river snail. This is such a Cambodian dish, steamed river snails. We dip it with um, sweet chili sauce. And then we got some char grill chicken wings this is like the whole body it's not just the wing by the way so we got some cucumber chili and some other stuff like bean sprout and cambodian herb which i don't know the english names of one hour later okay so we have finished lunch the whole thing cost less than 15 us dollars for you know the, the the water heart and then the food that we bought for the four of us so that is incredibly cheap um currently it is 2 30 i've got all the fruit and everything's ready to go the next plan is to go and visit one of our family friends the lady she's quite old she's like in her 80s right so this is probably like my last chance to go and you know pay her a visit and she lives quite far away from here, about half an hour or an hour. So we better be hurry. And yeah, let's go.
Okay, so we just came back from um, our family friend, like the grandma that I went to visit, right? Um, she's 83 years old, such a long age, and she's still strong, she's still very outspoken, and I highly appreciate her attitude and, and her positivity. I really love her, to be honest. Um, she's a really good family friend. She's been with, you know, she was my grandma's best friend, in a way. Honestly, I wish her all the best, and hopefully I get to come and visit her again in my next trip for Cambodia. Um, so we are going for another family dinner again at a buffet restaurant, I think this time around. Um, <laughs> as usual, I am running late again. Hello everyone, so I came to this restaurant. It's called Sakura Barbecue and Buffet. It is a buffet restaurant. They serve um, barbecue and soup, like side by side, which is very convenient for, you know, some of us, we just want a barbecue and others, they want um, soup. So why not both, right? So I came here with my family, right? My uncles, three of them, four of them actually, and, my, and their wife, my auntie and the family, like, pretty much like 13, 14 people. Um, it costs $16 per person. That's in USD, by the way. Um, so obviously, I come to visit them and you know, I earn some money now. So I will pay for the dinner. It is so lovely to see all the cousins. They're like, they're all grown up now. Like the, the little babies now is like teenagers. The one that I used to hold on my shoulders and then over here like this. They are not 10, they are like in year six, year four. Um, one of them is in high school. Like, I am so old. The food over there is really good. You can order pretty much anything. Well, dinner was a success. It, it cost us $188.38 US dollars. Right now, I'm sending off my uncle, one of them. Just right there, behind the bush. Dinner was lovely. Everyone is full. I had taro ice cream as well. The buffet was amazing. Oh, I ate too much. I have like a food baby at the moment. Hello everyone, so I am back from the family dinner. That was amazing. Day number two, it's quite relaxing at first way. What did we do in the morning? We went to uh, Ginswai, which is a community resort, you know, to help out with the locals over there and buy some food, fruits, everything. Lunch was amazing. And then we went to visit our family friend, like the grandma that, that I went to visit. She was so lovely. Um, I wish her all the best. To finish it off, we I had dinner with all my family, like most of them anyway. The uncles, like three, four of them, and then my auntie's family, everything. Food was lovely. I got to meet some of my cousins. They're all grown up now. I have to pack, like literally I have a lot of stuff here. They still need to be folded, put in the bags for our big trip tomorrow, which is going to be in Batumpong and Siem Reap. I cannot wait to share with you guys um, because I love those provinces and that's where all you know, the, good, the good food, the cultural, the heritage of Cambodia are. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Check out my other vlogs, season one of I Love Cambodia. I put the links down below and my recently vlogged as well in Laos, in Thailand. Thank you once again. See you guys next time. Have a good day.